Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 84. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 82 to 86. Hey, trick 84 here. This is based on these earlier two uh, true false formulas, and here we're going to use data validation. Now, this person said they have uh, a data set, and there was item description and price. And the criteria for data validation for this column was going to be items must be less than 16 characters in length, and it must be uppercase. Now, we figured out a cool formula for that in a YouTubers Love Excel 82. This one is description must be less than 36 characters in length, less that 36 characters in length. And we'll do that one in this one much more complicated one which we worked on in this 83 a price must be between 0 and 999,000 that number right there and there cannot be more than two decimal places let's start with this one first now uh, just a few a couple videos ago we created a, f a formula here um, to check whether something is uppercase. Now I've already completed this. I'm just going to highlight this range. Here's how you here's how you would do it. Highlight the whole range and it with the light colored cell at the top. You go to data validation in 2003. You go to the data menu and then data validation in 2007. You go to data ribbon, data validation right there. The keyboard shortcut that works everywhere is Alt DL. Alt DL. Now the trick for uh, a true false for data validation is um, there's a bunch of options here. Any value, you could pick a whole number, a decimal, a list, which we've done a lot of, I've done a lot of videos, at, uh, date, time, text length, but we want custom, and there's our formula. It says, since our uh, characters must be less than 16 and it must be uppercase, we use the exact function which com, uh, can compare lowercase and upper, uppercase. And we took whatever's in this cell right here and compared it to the upper of that. So when this is actual upper and this is upper, uh, it will return a true. If this is lower and this is upper, it will return a false, but only because of the exact. Then the second part of the um, the and, because both of these things have to be true, is the length. So the formula len, that's looking at that cell, has to be greater than or equal to whatever's in this right here lock. So that's the 16 up there. So that is uh, the formula. And I have them listed down here if you want. Error alert, because you want to be sure and alert the person. So if they enter in the wrong value and there's an error message, you want to give them uh, a, a message. Now, I was funny here. I said, please. But then I wrote down here. Item must be less than 16 characters length, and it must be upper case. Click OK. Now, this one's easier. We can use one of the built-in uh, features for data validation. I'm going to highlight the whole range, and in the light-colored cell at the top, I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Alt-D-L. And the settings, instead of using custom or list like we've done a lot of the times, we're just going to say text length. And it's between 0. And then I had it linked to this cell up here, and you got to lock it going down. And that's nice because if you wanted to change it later, if it wasn't something changed, just type that number in. And then we have an error alert. You always want to have an error alert. I said less than 36 characters, which means 35. Please enter a description that is less than 36. Actually, why don't we try this? Uh, let's enter in AA. Oh, and there's our please. And there's our message. Let's type in capital AA, and it worked. Now let's type in uh, capital 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that one violated the uh, go, we're going too long. So I'm going to say retry and then escape. Let's try this one. Um, wow, I'm going to have to type in 36A. So I'm just going to go. Brrr. Sometimes it helps if you make those little noises. And then there it is. It gives us that warning. So that's data validation with a warning. Now this final one is price. And we uh, belabored this formula over here in 83 of how to determine whether someone entered only two decimals. And you can uh, download this workbook and, and uh, copy and paste this formula up here if you want. But I already have it up there. All it's going to do is since the number has to be between 0 and 999, we had to use an AND. And then we had to compare whatever's in the cell to, I have it as a 0 right there. So it has to be greater than or equal to 0. And it has to be 
uh, greater than or equal to that 9999, that number right there. And then there's that huge formula we created to check if it is uh, two or fewer decimals in this right here. So I'm going to highlight this whole column right here, Alt-D-L. Go back to settings. It's already on custom, and I pasted that whole big formula in there. Error alert. Um, again, that's very important when you have this situation. All right, now what we want to see here is, and this YouTuber asked, um, what if I paste the data in? Let's just uh, do a little uh, example right here. Let's type AA. Uh, no, let's type little a, little a, and then Control Enter, and I'm going to copy it. Remember, this has data validation. If we type little a, little a, it doesn't let us. But watch, if I copy and paste, uh-oh, we have a problem. Data validation doesn't work. However, you can point to the smart tag here and say match destination formatting. And then data validation is back. Then you just go to data. Here in 2007, you click on Circle Invalid Data. I have some notes at the top of this workbook how to find this Circle Invalid Data in uh, 2003. You have to have the Formula Auditing Toolbar. And so then you can simply uh, circle. and It will circle it as soon as, and that is an alert to you. So you just click that button once, and it finds all the cells that have um, have rules that have been violated. But watch this. As soon as I see that circle, I can just come here and type capital A, capital A, enter, and the circle will go away. Now, what if we copy and paste this whole bit of data in here? Because that's what this person wanted to do. They set up the data validation in their little database. They copied it. They come over here. They click in this cell and control V. Uh-oh, there's all sorts of problems. There's a violation there, there's a violation there, and there's a violation there. That's where you just go to data and circle. In 2003, you got to have that formula auditing, and then you click on that circle invalid data. Oh, I forgot the um, smart tag here. Ooh, that was dangerous. Notice this smart tag is a lot of people don't think they're annoying, but this is a perfect example when they rule match destination formatting. I forgot to click that. So now I can come up here and notice even though uh, that cell right, which one was it? One of these had 999. Oh, there it is right there. Even though the formatting, when I said match destination formatting, it looks like this is 31 and uh, 2 pennies. But remember, formatting is not what's really in the cell. Look up here. That actually is 30.999. And that is formatting there. So what's really in the cell is that. Now we're going to go uh, show our validation circles right there. And sure enough, look at that. It circles that because that data validation is looking at the underlying number, just like formulas and many other elements in Excel. They don't look at formatting. So that's a little bit about data validation and pasting and uh, that smart tag match destination formatting and finding your errors with those cool data validation circles. All right, we'll see you next YouTube trick.